South China Sea heats up, U.S. carriers arrive in South China Sea. In a statement, the U.S. Navy's Indo-Pacific Command said the warship Flotilla entered the South China Sea when Taiwan reported that its airspace was being breached by Chinese bombers and fighter jets. The fleet group is led by the aircraft carrier USS Theodore Roosevelt. The incident took place in Taiwan's air defense identification zone around the Pratas Islands. Furthermore, in the statement, Theodore Roosevelt was accompanied by the Ticonderoga-class missile cruisers, USS Bunker Hill, Arleigh Burke-class missile destroyers, USS Russell, and USS John Finn. The U.S. Navy claims that the purpose of their aircraft carriers entering the South China Sea is to carry out routine operations, to ensure freedom of navigation and to build partnerships that promote maritime security. After sailing through the waters for 30 years of my career, it is great to be in the South China Sea again. Conducting routine operations, promoting maritime freedom and convincing allies and partners. Rear Admiral Douglas Verissimo said in a statement. With two-thirds of the world trading through this very important region, it is imperative that we maintain our presence and continue to promote the rules-based order that has enabled all of us to prosper," he added. The announcement comes just days after Joe Biden was officially sworn in as President of the United States on January 20. Meanwhile, the candidate for U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, in a hearing in the Senate said China was the most important obstacle for the U.S. compared to any other country.